Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Could you imagine that with Filament we can build something like this? So, a page with filament tables, multiple tables representing standings like in any sports competition like football, baseball, basketball or whatever. Tournament standings for group A, B, C and D. With things like country flags, badges inside, with amount that teams that qualify to the next round and stuff like that. So I will show you some part of the code of how to do that. And this is one of the project on our filamentexamples.com, a new project that we showcased this week on this channel. So if you browse around the tables, one of the tables is actually sports standing tables by group. And the story is that the summer was a basketball World Cup and our country Lithuania is pretty famous for basketball. So I was watching that, watching the tables of standings and then it hit me. Wait, this is a table and we're working a lot with filament tables. Is it possible to do something like that? And then I challenged my colleague Modestas to do that. And at first he said, how hard can it be? Apparently some of those elements were pretty hard. But let me show you the concept in the code. So the page itself is pretty simple. You generate make filament page, groups overview, and you specify the blade view, groups overview, which has all the magic inside. You get the view data for the groups, and then in that groups overview page, it just extends the default filament design, visual design, and then to have multiple tables on the same page. Each table is represented in our solution as a live wire component. In our case, four components and each component looks something like this. It's a live wire component, not a filament thing, but using filament features like has table and has forms. And then down below we have the table. So each competition group is represented by one table with customized query. And this is where we get to deeper stuff like eloquent, raw queries. So this is kind of outside of filament topic. That was one of the challenges. And then columns, you define the order badge. And this is what Modestas discovered is column get row loop method where you get the iteration from. So which line of the table that is. And if that iteration is lower than amount of teams to qualify, you return the badge as info, otherwise gray. Reminder, this is how it looks. So we're talking about that column with different badge colors. Then the next column and each column actually represented its own challenges. So HTML string with the flag of the country and then the name with some custom CSS. Then matches played is a custom count. Then matches won and lost is also custom with condition from pivot table. Total points is calculation also custom state. So we're talking about that column that total points and then the points of number of games. In basketball competitions, they have weird formula of two points per win and still one point per loss, but anyway. And then that was the interesting stuff, badges, last games, kind of the sequence of games, won and lost. In here, we have the data and then we render blade component. So filament has component of badge and I talked about that in a separate video. I can link that in the description below as well. So to render that column, we actually render a separate blade component powered by filament. And also we need to specify that the table is not paginated. So yeah, this is the result. I was pretty impressed with what Modestus has achieved and how many things we learned ourselves about filament customizations. So that was kind of the overview, but if you want the full source of that, along with other examples, go to filamentexamples.com. And if you purchase all projects for $99, you will get access to the repository for all the future updates, fixes, and new projects. And by doing that, you will support our team to create more projects, both with Filament and with Laravel in general. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.